And we have a headline tonight for anyone with a smartphone. We've told you about the huge spike in crime caused by thieves stealing iPhones. Last year, 1.6 million Americans had their smartphones stolen. Police pushed phone companies to come up with a way to deter theft. And today, Apple revealed a new idea. ABC's Gio Benitez on what they announced. Tonight, Apple may be taking a page from Mission Impossible. This tape will self-destruct in five seconds. Devices set to self-destruct? Perhaps not physically, but at the company's big unveiling this afternoon, a solution that law enforcement has been begging for, a so-called kill switch that could turn a stolen iPhone into a useless box. It could be the strongest weapon yet to combat the recent wave of iPhone thefts. iPhone thefts have become such a problem, there's even a term for it, apple picking. And here in New York City, a whopping 40% increase in cell phone thefts just last year. Just take a look at this dramatic surveillance video from a New York subway in March. Police say this man turned to violence just to steal a cell phone. And this woman so knocked over and no punched for her phone, phone, speaking with our Lindsay Davis. The guy just snatched the phone out of my hand um, and kept running. Apple's new software works with the phone's current software called Find My iPhone, which helps you track a lost phone. Now, with activation lock, if a thief tries to turn off Find My iPhone, or if they even wipe the device entirely, they will not be able to reactivate it. The government has actually been calling on tech companies to address the issue of smartphone theft. The idea that sure, you can track your phone, but when someone steals that phone, the robber or the thief can wipe it clean and start using it. Here, Apple's come up with a feature that won't allow that to happen. Now, all eyes are on other phone makers to see if they'll follow Apple's lead. Gio Benitez, ABC News, New York.